Americans have long considered Ulysses S. Grant a complete failure of a president. But was he? As president, Grant pushed to ratify the 15th Amendment, which secured for African Americans the right to vote, and signed multiple laws enforcing it. When the KKK violently resisted, Grant acted decisively, sending in the military to crush it and restore order. Grant also appointed several African Americans and Jews to important government positions. Frederick Douglass said of Grant, In him the Negro found a protector, the Indian a friend, a vanquished foe a brother, an imperiled nation a savior. Douglas was right. Ulysses Grant was a man of character, remarkably devoid of prejudice. When discussing Native Americans, Grant once said, I do not believe our creator ever placed different races of men on this earth with the view of having the stronger exert all his energies in exterminating the weaker. And Grant put his money where his mouth was. In his mid-30s, when he was down on his luck and facing severe financial uncertainty, he inherited a slave from his father-in-law. Grant could have kept the slave or sold him for some much-needed cash, but instead, he freed him. Like all leaders, Ulysses Grant did have his flaws and didn't always get it right. But on his 200th birthday, it's time we take full measure of the man and his far-reaching contributions to our country.